What is up, people? In today's live stream, we got our first look at the desert biome we have all been waiting to see in Alpha 2. And our first look at the Tolnar concept art. And it looks absolutely amazing, so we aren't wasting any time with this one as we jump right into the action. This whole video tease is set up around a Wisp Welk mount, otherwise known as the Snorse, making its way through the desert where in the end it reaches a cool scorpion boss, showing us the region and various parts of the biome along the way with some pretty heavy teases as well. We have seen teases and concept of this zone before, but this is the first time we actually get to see some in-game footage. The video starts out with the Snorse in a more rocky Middle Eastern type setting, off on his adventures to who knows where. We see some rhinos, a cursed charger, and potentially some slade-born architecture, which are these bird-like creatures that we've seen in the past for those of you who don't know, and eventually our friend the Snorse even wanders up to a massive temple with a dragon skull resting on the top probably being the entrance to some open world dungeon or raid. We then see some cool beetles, and the Snorse wanders past this giant tower in the background, almost looking like a claw reaching into the sky, shooting a red beam out of it. I bet my money on this being a Tower of the Ancients, as it resembles the bosses we saw in Alpha 1, and the Ancients have been said to have a presence in the desert. Stephen pointed out in the last livestream that the Ancients used this guy as a war machine to take out cities, who is said to be a boss in the desert as well, so we know that they were there at some point. Whether this is a story point of interest or a dungeon or raid, well, we won't know until Alpha 2. We then see some more sandy Egyptian-like desert areas with temples built into the rocks and wind blowing the sand around. We also see some hippos in a grassy oasis area and a human statue, which I assume is a Veiloon human, towering over the desert holding her hands out. But she has the same symbol on her head as the map in the livestream teaser, and from what I can tell, this is not of any Veiloon symbol we have seen, so perhaps this could be something more. Maybe this symbol represents the Ancients and she worked for the Ancients, or some other powerful being in Vera, or perhaps a fallen queen of the once ancient civilization. Anyways, this video ends with the Snorse walking up to a temple, being greeted by some tiny scorpion friends, as the giant scorpion mom tells the kids that they need to be back by dinner and then the video ends. For those of you who have watched my Desert Zone speculation video, this is exactly what I wanted to see. Desert Zones tend to be pretty tricky to pull off correctly, and I love what I am seeing. And this is probably my favorite zone we have seen so far, as it is much different than the Riverlands or the Tropics or the Snowy Mountains, and has an entirely different feel to it, and it's going to be great to set out an adventure within. And as I am making this video, we just got our first look at the concept of the Tolnar on the live stream, showing these there's a beast-like version, a reptilian-like version, and these things look absolutely badass. So let me know your thoughts on these as well. I, I was not prepared for this in my video. I didn't even script this part, but we're adding it in. And look at your first look at the Tolnar, because they look friggin' great. The three of these guys look so different because the customization on the Tolnar is something unlike any of the other characters. You can go like these three distinct routes, you can combine them, mix them up, and they could be some sort of a hybrid in between, or you could go full on lizard or full on beast, depending on what your character wants to look like. So honestly, this guy alone could give you the look of many different races, I guess, depending on. I mean, they're all Tolnar, but like other MMO wise, you got your lizard people and you got your beast like people, so everybody wins. What are your thoughts on the desert we saw in the live stream? Drop a comment down below, and if you're new to Ashes and have yet to create an account, feel free to use my referral link in the description below. Otherwise, be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications, and stay tuned for a lot more to come.